give you rest. Come to me if you're thirsty. I'm going to give you some drink. He got the attention of the whole party. Once you get everybody's attention, you better have something to say. Because that's how we were going through this. If you ain't been through nothing, you ain't going to have nothing to say. But if you've been through something, when you go through something, after you've been through something, when you go to tell somebody they ain't been through nothing, what you've been through, they're not going to know until they understand that you have been through what they've been through. And once you have been through something and got the victory, people will listen and want to hear how you got the victory. And once they get the victory, they can't wait to tell others. It's a disease. It puts the devil at ease. It's dis-ease to dis-ease. You ever, you, it's like when I got born again. See, I told you about my, my times. Of, I was in, up in Hollywood. And I was playing with uh, Jackson 5. I was playing with uh, Journey. I was playing with uh, 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 other bands. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, a lot of, did a lot, whole lot of studio work. Worked at Wiley Hyder Studios. But I remember after I got born again, I carried this big old Bible. Just like this one. See, that's, that's no little old bitty Bible. That's a, that's a big one. You got to carry this one like this, you see. And it would get, when I would go over people's house, I carried it everywhere. Everywhere I went, I carried it. Because remember, I got, was in trouble. I was facing a trial in three months. I'd still be in jail. I would go knock. I would, when I would pull up to the house, I would see him. I would see the curtains draw. You could hear him shutting up. Saying, Shut up. Constantine's here. Shh, shh, be quiet. I'd go into the restaurant. Hey, brothers, they'd all get up and leave. No one wanted to be around me because they knew what I had to say. Once, once a preacher asked me, he says, what kind of Bible is that you preach out of? I mean, I don't know. Holy Bible? What kind of preacher? Wouldn't preach out of a holy Bible. So it doesn't matter what. And if this life's beginning, then you can't be losing because you can't keep from winning. When God says, I'm going to do it, He's already done it. Not going to, might do, could do, hope so, maybe so, could be though. When God says, I will, that means it's already been done. See, in God's time, when He says, I will do this, it's already done. In other words, you're already in the winning circle. But you must finish the course. What course is that? The course God's called you to walk on. But I'm facing a million men. That's okay. Asa cried out to the Lord. I'm facing cancer. Asa cried out to the Lord. I'm facing my wife running away. Asa cried to the Lord. I'm facing my, my husband left. Asa cried to the Lord. I'm facing foreclosure. Asa cried to the Lord. I'm facing but my car is going to get repossessed. I can't make a payment. They said they're going to hide the thing now. There's people out there right now. You're hiding your car. You're hiding your car from the repossessors. I'm saying if you cry out to God, if you cry out to God right now, money will come from an unexpected source. And I'm not saying send me a dime. I'm saying cry out to God. Sending me a dime is not having nothing to do with what I'm talking to you about. I'm saying you call on the name of God. That has everything to do with everything. And Asa cried out. And a million men, a million men turned and ran. What's it say? A million men turned and ran. I myself, Jesus says, can do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is righteousness. Because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Jesus said, I only do what God wants me to do. I'm going to, I want you to, can you make that confession with me? Can, can you just, right where you are, just make that confession. That's it. Come on, get up. Stand up. There's something about it. You know how many times I've laid my hands on the TV set when Benny Hinn was praying or somebody? Can't count them. It's a movement of faith. Without faith, you can't please Him. God's not pleased by your trouble. He's pleased by your faith that removes the trouble. In the name of Jesus. Speak to that mountain. I don't care if it's a million men. I don't care if it's cancer. I don't care if it's foreclosure. I don't care what the enemy has brought to stumble you to take you down. You there. 
You there. Put that crack pipe down. Come on, man. Come on. Put it down. Go back home. Go on. Go back home. Put it down. You can do it. No, it don't have a hold on you. God's got a hold on you. You can do this. You can do it. I'm, I'm reasoning with you. See, Jesus said, Come, let us reason together. God said, let us reason together. You know what that word reason means? Argue. God says He wants you to come argue with Him. Come argue with me. God, have you ever seen, I don't know if you've ever been to Israel or not, but when you see Jews in the market, boy, you'd think they're about to beat each other up. Boy, they're hollering at each other, they're yelling at each other, and you can't understand the language, but you're, you're, they're yelling, they're bargaining over the price. They, they call it reasoning together. Sometimes and when one gives up, he'll get a, pick up some dirt and throw it in the air. So okay, it's a deal, it's done. And they'll exchange the money or exchange the, the item that they bought, and then they'll be smiling. And, and, and You think they were all upset, but they were reasoning together. You've got to understand God's a Jew. Now, if you don't like it, get over it. You've got to find it. You've got to understand that. The first Jew, I like this, the first Jew came out, came out of Canaan. Abram. God changed his name to Abraham. That word, Ham. He changed Sarah's name, Sarai, to say, Ra, Ha. That means the breath of God. When God wah, brings, brings breath into you, a million men can't stand in your way. Cancer can't stand in your way. Rebellion can't hold you back. See, when sin came, glory left. But when repentance comes, the power returns. That's God's weakness. Praise and repentance. It gets Him every time. Doesn't matter what you've done. I've been in prisons. I remember we were, uh, got enough time, I hope I can get through this one little story here. I was in prison with a brother. He's passed away now. His name was Michael. And uh, Mike was blowing horn, and I was in there preaching to the prisoners. And we were preaching. You, you got to understand that uh, you got a captive audience in prison. And uh, not having, uh, it's like my first time to be in a prison to preach. And, uh, well, I've not been to prison. I've been in jail a whole lot, but I've never been in prison. And uh, <laughs> I was up there preaching, and I said, now you know it says, and... Galatians 5, that in Christ, we are no longer Jews. We are no longer Gentiles. We are no longer, and I said the N-word. We are no longer, uh, and I you know, said that, hate, that word about uh, Spanish people, uh, the Chicano brothers. I won't say them on the air because I, I just want you to get the point. I called all the names out. I said that. Michael said, he started looking for the door. He said, oh my God, they're going to kill us. Oh, my God. I said, but in Christ, we're all the same. In Christ, we're all equal. In Christ, we're not Jew nor Gentile. We're not male, not female. In Christ, we're all the same. So you sitting there on the couch. You sitting there at the table. You sitting there on your, on, on your bed. Got your laptop in your, in, your, in, in, in your lap. I see you. Put the laptop down and stand up. It's your time. It's your hour. This is your moment. This is your moment. This is your time. The best is yet to come. The worst is over. The minute you say, Jesus, forgive me, he gives you a fork. Because the best is yet to come. A dessert's coming. And you deserve a dessert. Can I say that right? You deserve a dessert. All of you deserters, come back because you deserve a dessert. All of you who are AWOL and left your post, come on back. Come on back. I remember when I was in the army, I was on post, and uh, I, was a, I was a buck sergeant, had a lot of guys under me, and on this particular post, a one-star general walked in, and he walked in the place, and when he walked in that place, the, the brothers told me, he said, you should have seen you jump. I jumped, uh, I jumped up to my feet, I hit the ground.
Hell is the position of a dice. Terrence Hood called him. Ten, boy, and the atmosphere changed because authority showed up. When authority shows up, your atmosphere will change, honey. When your atmosphere changes, you change it. See, you can change the atmosphere. Negative. Be people that are, uh, people that are real negative. I can't. Nah, nah, you know what the president did. Now nah, you know what Obama did. Nah, I'm talking to, You know what Hillary did. And you know what old Trump did. You know. You know. I mean, they're gonna take this away. And they're gonna take that away. And that that creates an atmosphere of negativity. I know. One of my family members is the neg most negative person you ever want to be around. It makes you feel negative. But you know when you get around positive people, I want to talk to you about now. Getting around church folks. If you don't have a church, get one. If you don't have a church, get one. How will you know it's the right church? When you walk in there, you'll feel at home. You'll feel at home. You'll feel I can stand against a million men here. I can stand against the wrath of Khan, if you will. I can stand against Star Wars. <laughs> I can stand. Come on with me now. In Jesus' name. That's it. In Jesus' name. Lord Jesus. Call on him. Call on him. Come on. Call on him. Lord Jesus. Yes, call him Lord. Lord Jesus. I ask you to come into my heart. I believe that you died and rose again. And I believe you can change my atmosphere. And those of you that are, who are born again, but you've been surrounded by negativity, I speak that you shall convince your inner man with your mind. Convince, let your spirit convince your mind. That's really how it works. That you are a positive person, and where you go, you create positive. Everywhere you go is a positive reaction it's newton's law forever action there's a there's a reaction and when you act with positivity then that's what you get positive if you act negative you're going to get negative back but i'm believing this day your whole future's turning around in jesus name say it say it amen we'll see you next time